Hello, this video runs through the process of installing Pomari's OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM product and assumes that you've already created an application in an OpenID provider such as Azure AD, Ping1 or Okta and recorded the client ID, client secret and OpenID Connect provider URL. Supplemental videos are available covering the creation of the application within your OpenID provider and where to obtain the required client ID, client secret and OpenID provider URL information. So let's demonstrate Pomari's OpenID Connect product operating with Clarity PPM and Azure AD. So in a browser, the first thing we can do is if we try and go to Clarity PPM. So in this instance, I'm just going to try and go to a task list within a project. On the initial connection, because I've not signed in, I'm asked to sign in to Azure AD. And in this instance, I'll sign in. And as you can see, I'm into Clarity PPM and in the task list. Now, obviously, I can do all the normal things in Clarity now, and I'm signed in as myself. And this time we'll just save the financials. Now, if I go to Office 365, I'm not prompted to log in because I'm already logged in. Now I'm going to sign out of Clarity. And I'll close these tabs. Now in this instance, I'm already signed out. So if I go to try and go to this, you can see it's now prompting me to log into Office 365 again because I've signed out. But if I sign in via the Office 365 login, So in this instance, I'm not signed into Office 365. If I now attempt to go to Clarity, it doesn't prompt me for my sign in because I've already signed in and I'm straight into the modern UI into a project financials. So we've just shown you how you can log into Clarity using the Azure AD sign in dialogues, or if I'm already signed in, the fact is that I can then go straight into Clarity and we've also shown deep linking within the plugin so that you can link directly to specific pages within Clarity. There are a few prerequisites required for the use and installation of Pomari's OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM product. For Clarity PPM, then your Clarity PPM server or servers must be able to communicate with OpenID provider via HTTPS. Your Clarity PPM app and NSA services must be configured to use HTTPS. Your usernames in Clarity PPM match the email claim provided by the OpenID provider. And last but not least, you have a subscription for Pomari's OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM product. You'll also need to have created an application in your OpenID provider. Separate videos are provided if you need assistance with doing this. And you'll need to obtain the application's client ID, client secret, and the provider slash discovery slash metadata document URL values. In this instance, we'll be configuring the product to use Microsoft Azure AD, but the process is exactly the same for the other OpenID providers. Now let's go ahead and install Pomari's OpenID Connect product into Clarity PPM. So first, we'll stop all of the Clarity PPM services. Now, if you are on Windows, you can also stop the services via the services control panel. The product code is supplied in a zip file that's been copied to my home directory on the server, and we now need to unpack it into a temporary directory. So I will create a directory in the directory containing my Tomcat and Clarity PPM software. So my Clarity and PPM software is stored in user local CA. I'll create a directory to hold the unpacked software into there, and then I will unzip the software into that folder. I 
Once unpacked, we need to copy the jar file to the Apache Tomcat installation used by Clarity PPM. In my case, that this is uh, user local CA Tomcat. So I'll copy the file to the lib directory within the Tomcat directory. And I'll also copy both the supplied HTML files to the Clarity PPM deployment directory. So my Clarity is running from user local CA PPM, so I'll copy the files to, to their slash Tomcat app deploy root directory within my Clarity directory. So Now it's necessary to update the Tomcat server XML file, inserting the product's valve configuration into that file. We can copy this information from the file supplied as part of the product, server XML snippet.txt. So let's edit the Tomcat server XML file. Now, when we're editing it, we want to insert our valve configuration after the access log valve. So I'm just going to insert the server content at that point. And we can see this is the basis for the valve. Now what we need to do is replace the provider URL, the client ID and the client secret with the values obtained when setting up the application in the OpenID Connect provider. Let's replace the provider URL. Then we'll replace client ID and then finally we'll replace the client secret and now we can save that file now we need to redeploy the services on Clarity. And we'll just deploy the app and the NSA, because they're the only two that are impacted. And we now need to tell Clarity to use single sign-on. So we should start the Beacon and the NSA services. Now in a browser window, let's connect to the NSA service. And if you notice, this is now prompting me to log in to Azure AD because this is now, the, or the NSA is now protected by Azure AD. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't replace the login window for the NSA. So if we now go to Laurel and we want to go to application and in application for the app service, we want to say use single sign on and say save. We also want to go to security and we want to define the location of our logout URLs and authentication error URLs. So in this instance, we put it in the root directory you can locate them on different servers or different directories on the server. 
But in this instance, because we put them in root, then it's just the server name slash logout HTML, server name slash not authorized HTML. The other thing we need to do under security is also check that the token name is set to auth under token, which matches the value that we stored in the server XML file. And if it's not, you should change it here to match what was in the server XML file or change whatever's in the server XML file to match what's here. The final thing to note is the token type used must be cookie. That's the only supported token type. So we'll change that and save it. And that's the configuration complete. So now what I can do is I can start the application service. Now the service is so now it's started, let's try and connect to our service, our app service. And as you can see, as I previously logged on to Azure AD when connecting to the NSA, I'm automatically signed into Clarity as my user. That completes the video demonstrating and installing Pomara's OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM product. Please see the accompanying videos for information on how to create an application in the OpenID Connect providers if you need to. For more information on Pomari OpenID Connect for Clarity PPM, please visit our website or contact us by email at sales at Thank you for watching.